We all realize how important calcium consumption is for us. An average adult weight is made up of around 2% of calcium. If you don't have enough of the calcium in your diet, you may have increased risk of osteoporosis, irritable nervous system or cramps etc. Even too much of calcium consumption can also cause problems like nausea, vomiting, constipation and many of cardiac issues. But other things being equal, it is always recommended for adults to consume around 1000 mg of calcium per day. For women over 50 and men over 70 years of their age, this amount increases to 1200 mg of calcium per day. So we need to be very conscious about our daily consumption of calcium. For more such videos on health, beauty tips and interesting recipes, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. We can have this calcium from our daily food, sometimes we may also take some supplements, but it is much better to get calcium from natural food than from calcium supplements. Good sources of calcium and those which are commonly known to people, they include dairy food, like milk, yogurt and cheese and calcium fortified foods like soy milk or rice drinks or breakfast cereals. Milk, yogurt, cheese and buttermilk, they are all rich sources of calcium. 200 grams of milk, 200 grams of yogurt and 200 milliliter of calcium fortified soy milk. They all provide around 300 mg of calcium. So you may consume any of these whichever is easily available to you. But remember that don't limit yourself to dairy food and milk products only. Two servings per day is more than enough. More of it will become boring for you. So try to get calcium from other sources of food. And what can be more beneficial than leafy green vegetables? I know you won't like them but they are always your best friends. Vegetables are loaded with different vitamins and antioxidants. They can be great source of calcium as well. For example, some common vegetables high in calcium are spinach, broccoli and soybean. 100 gram serving of cooked spinach, it contains around 145 mg of calcium. Though not all of it will be absorbed in our body, but it can be very healthy for us. By contrast, 1 cup of cooked broccoli, it contains around 75 mg of calcium and 50-60% to 60 of it will be absorbable. In soybean, we can find around 175 mg of calcium in 100 g serving of it. But in case of soybean, it is very important to find 100% organic raw soybean. Then comes another vegetable called mustard green. Along with many other important vitamins, it is also rich with calcium. 100 grams of mustard green, we can expect to have 118 milligrams of calcium. Overcooking of it, overwashing of it and separating its water may decrease the nutrients. But otherwise, it is a very fine source of calcium for us. Another very important green source of calcium is peas. In 100 grams of it, we can have around 60 milligrams of calcium content. Parsley can also be a very nice option for calcium consumption. In 100 grams of it, it has 138 milligrams of calcium. This makes parsley an important vegetable to consume if you are calcium deficient. In order to check more vegetables for their calcium content, Use the link below in the description box where around 200 vegetables are listed for your knowledge and interest. Apart from vegetables, nuts and seeds, they can also be considered to cover your daily need of calcium. 100 grams of almonds can provide us with around 264 milligrams of calcium. An absorption of this calcium can be increased if you leave almonds soaked in water overnight and then consume them in the morning. Hazelnuts are second on our list. They provide around 187 mg of calcium with 100 g serving of it. Among nuts, walnuts can also be considered. In 100 g serving of walnuts, we can expect to have 93 mg of calcium content. 
Sesame seeds are also an intelligent option for calcium consumption for those who are faced with this deficiency. Down in the description box, I'm giving a link of International Osteoporosis Foundation, which provides a list of common foods with their calcium content. Do check this site, I'm sure it will help you more in this regard. Apart from these natural food options that are very helpful for calcium need of our body, many supplements are also available with calcium content. My doctor recommended me with calcium supplements like High C1000, Kel C1000 and Rexorobia. They are all good options for calcium in particular for women. Many of you would be using them already. My doctor recommended them long ago and since then I am using these products but I am surely not recommending you to go after them without researching your own particular case. So do get yourself checked for calcium and consult your physician or doctor in this regard so that you can also start taking care of your body before it's too late. So stay conscious, eat well and stay healthy.